Hey guys, it's Loz and Nufi. You guessed it, just Nufi. Um, actually, Loz is part of this video, but I'll explain that when we get to what I'm going to talk about today. Guess what that is? Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. Anyway, um, I just want to say that I'm up to, I think we're up to about 111 subscribers. I know it's a little, but thank you so much. And in the last couple of weeks, um, I think that's grown a little bit more than normal. So that's really, really, re we're really, really happy. Not that, we, we are really happy. And a uh, big shout out to Winnie B. Um, she's one of the funniest ladies I have ever seen in my life. I love her so much. Go and check out her channel. This is not a collab or anything, although I want to do that. Um, I just, you know, I just want to say I love her. <laughs> Go and check her out. She's hilarious and, and she's got so much knowledge and she's fun and I love her, you know, her big personality and yeah, she's great. I'll, I'll link her in the um, details and of course, I'm always going to give a shout out to uh, Candy Sweet Love for LV. I love her. Okay, so again, um, if you can please like, subscribe and share, um, we'd really appreciate it. So today's video, I'm sorry I'm standing here, I'm daggy again, but um, I will explain why. So let's get into today and it's a true unboxing again. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've got three items and I want to just share the story about that. So Loz, and you would have known, I've talked about it a few times, check out our other videos. Um, it's Loz and Nufi, and it normally is, and you might have heard me say on some past videos that Loz is quite unwell. Um, she's very unwell, and she goes back into hospital to have some surgery this Tuesday. She went down to Melbourne, so that's about an hour and a half to two hours away from where we live, um, to see her parents today, and she was good enough to stop in at Louis Vuitton in Collins Street and pick up the items that I'd purchased online. Um, and that's why she's just dropped them off, but she couldn't stay for the video. She's just, she's just so sick. And I'll explain more of that, um, in the coming, coming weeks. But, um, yeah, it's very serious. And, um, we're just hoping for the best. So, yeah, um, just hope that, that she can get the treatment. But we'll explain more and that will make more sense over the coming weeks. So in the meantime, you've just got me. Um, so today I'm going to unbox, it's part three, I think it is, of the Christmas animation, Louis Vuitton Christmas animation. And you know how it crazy excited I got on my last video? If you haven't seen it, check that out. But I'm crazy because <laughs> I'm super excited again. And if it's even possible, I'm telling you, yes, yes. This Aussie, yes, is more excited than ever. And it may be something that you just think, why is she so excited over that? It's not even that special. I just love what I'm about to open. But there is three things. I'm gonna open two on this video and then I'll upload a different one because it's a completely different unboxing. So if I accidentally come across that, I'll wrap it back up because I don't know which is which, they look similar. So on that, let's get into today. So in front of me, and I know you can't see it because I'm actually standing here. Um, I've got a few, a few, a few, a few more. It's like Christmas, I love it. Um, so I'm going to unbox these. I'm gonna try this one because I think, I think this might be the one I'm really excited about. So we all know it comes in these bags. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna put these down here. Um, I don't know if I'm coming off shadowy. I think I'm going to turn this light, you can't see it, this bigger light off. No, I tried turning the big light off, but I was even worse. So I think, look, it is night here. It's night in Australia. Uh, it's just dark in this room. Oh, I don't know, I've got the big lights on, which you can unfortunately see up in there. Um, anyway, back to the unboxing and the exciting stuff, not what my lights are doing. So, I know, I really wish these boxes were different. I'd love to know if other people think that, I just kind of, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, when you get the Versace and the other ones, if you're lucky enough to get Versace, like it's just such nice packaging. Really, really liking Versace. Anyway, um, let's unbox Louis, because Louis is my love. Everybody's love. So, I'll take this ribbon off, and you know, blue ribbons, you know what I think of that. Um, okay, so it's got the drawer. Can you guess what this is? I bet you cannot guess what this is. You might be able to. Christmas animation, what do I really want? I feel so lucky to have a number of pieces this year. 
I love them. I don't know what it is, but I love them more than everything. Maybe not everything. I love my Riverside. But anyway, I love them. All right, so a moment. I'm so coordinated. Let me put that over there. So coordinated. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. So I really think that maybe it's just crazy me that's super excited about this, but I have wanted one of these. I've been looking on the pre-love. I've been looking on, because here in Australia, you know, we don't have as many as like in America, what I'm assuming you know, I always watch people unbox from the pre-love, unbox. I mean, we have eBay and we have Fashion File, but it's got to come from America and the Australian dollar is so poor against the American dollar. So it's like 40% more and oh, it's just so hard to get pieces. And I was going to pay a lot for this and then I, got it new and it's cheap and new how is that even possible but it is anyway I'll stop babbling you all know that I'm an accountant by now um you know uh, I'm, a, I'm a CFO by that's that's what I do during the day so this will make sense this will make sense to the nerdy people like me la la all right let's get it out stop babbling stop babbling ha! <laughs> I love it I'm gonna come closer I'm I'm Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get out of the shop. <laughs> All right, guys. I had to adjust the view because it's so dark and the lights weren't just set up right. So to to show you this. So back to my excitement. I do apologise about all of the the way that this angle is, and um, the way the light's shining on my cabinets. I'm really, really going to have to get a better setup for filming at night. Anyway, I hope this comes through. So what I wanted to show you. Um, and I'll put all of the description because I'm just doing unboxing without my phone, so I need all of the descriptions. But this is the pencil pouch that um, is part of the Christmas 2022 animation. So let me see if I can ensure that you're getting this. I'll step out and I'll give you a 360. I've still got the plastic on here because I just opened it. Yes, I love this. Look at the beautiful pink. This one, made in Spain. Spain's good, it's not Paris. Okay, I'm a crazy lady today. I have readjusted this light. This is the best we're gonna get it. So I'm just filming. So I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try to step out of the shot and show you the close up of the pencil pouch. Um, Christmas edition. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is it? And it matches with my pochette, which I will grab in a minute and show them all. I have been there and that's why I love these so much. Well, it, you know, I think this is the exact same it is as the mini pochette that I also have. Um, I will take this plastic off in a minute so we can have a good look at the gold hardware, but it is gold hardware, whereas a lot on the pre-love market was um, silver. Not there's anything. Uh, so it's made in Spain. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and... I mean, it feels soft. This is obviously canvas. This part, this beautiful pink, is um, leather. And let's open. I'm going to step back a bit. Let's open. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't love this so much. It's so crazy. But I've just looked inside and thought, oh, my heart just melted. I'm such a nerd. But oh. so the little card. Nobody cares about this right now. I certainly don't, but I'll show you. Um, right. Wait for this. It's pink and it's um, soft and, oh my gosh, it's actually quite big. It's actually really big. So I'll be honest, right now looking at this, I, I absolutely wanted it for my pens and things. So when I'm at work or if I go into the office, um, I can use this. However, I'm looking at the inside thinking, hmm, if a pen leaks in there or something happens, I would cry. But then that's what it's for. Now, I'll be honest, I don't like, if that is for shedder and not treat it, let me try and step out. I don't. I don't love it when it darkens. Anyway, I will learn to live with it because I love it so much. I love it. I love it. So, let me just do another 360 gosh it's so gorgeous and it's really good decent size it opens so much it's pink it's like velour i don't know what it 
now. It's adorable. Let me see if I can get the plastic off the zip. So that's the zip. I'm trying to put it on my hand, maybe. Here we go. Oh, get my turkey neck out. There we go. I mean, come on. Is this not? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I keep just talking. No words. There are no words, but I love it. I love it. I just look at it. Oh, it's got the little you know, number there or whatever it is, code. Oh, no, I can't tell you how happy I am. Happy, happy. All right, I'll stop being crazy. I'll put that card back in there and I will go and get all the pieces in a minute because this is the final of my Christmas 2022 pieces, Christmas collection. Hmm. I'm going to open, so I've just taken this out of the um, bag. So in the bag, um, there's just the receipts. And again, the long ones, just you know, put the bag down. Um, yeah, it's just the receipts, so put that down. Again, the ribbon. Oh, they didn't tie that up very well, did they? Mm. It's truly an unboxing. It's the first time I've seen this, so I'll take that ribbon and I'll drop it down there because you know what I think of blue ribbons. So again, it is this. And I'm hoping this is the Christmas piece and I haven't just unwrapped the other video. Anyway, this is my last one and then I'm going to just talk about it a bit more. And then I'll tell you some more details about both pieces. So slide it open. I'm going to put this down as well. This is what I think, so happy days. Um, so can you guess what this is? Christmas 22, my last Christmas 22. And honestly, I was happy to get one, so I feel very, very happy to have four pieces. Let's open it. <laughs> I know, it's, I do really unboxing of something else or I buy something else, I'm like, oh, it's so beautiful and I love this and I love that and I get these and I'm like, <laughs> Okay, calm the farm. There we go. Put the dust bag there. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yes, and I've just seen the back. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna cry. Okay. <laughs> how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, how beautiful. Right? Cover my face. Oh, there's the side. You just wait until I open this up. So we know it's the passport cover, but you can use this for other things, obviously. Passport, passport, not passbook. Just too excited. Oh, that's soft. Oh, look at that beautiful pink. Gosh, I hope that's coming out the way that it is. It's, it's pink, pink. Oh, it's beautiful. And of course the little cards, you know. I'll show it to you anyway. Hope that zooms in. So let's put that down. Let me have a look. Okay. Okay, more excitement. Could there be any more excitement from this crazy woman? Hell yes, there can. And guess why? It's made in Paros. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've just gone crazy. Like, I don't know what's happening. But, uh, I can't tell you how much I've wanted for a long time, such a simple piece I know, but I wanted it to be something special and to me, it's made in Paris, it's pink, it's a booklet, I'm a nerd, it's got the front and back, whereas the other pieces are only the front, it's Paris and it's the store I went to and it's just stunning and I love it and I'm crazy but I love it. and. I can see that I could use this for so much and in a minute I will go and grab my passport and I'll just, you know, grow a couple of cards and we'll, we'll just have a look. But it is, oh, I, I mean, honestly, I'm loving it. I love it. I just, I know this is stupid. I'm not giving you enough details. I'm, I'm over the moon. I, I feel like if this, where's my little piece? If these were the only pieces that I got this year, or any year, I would be ecstatic. I, I just, wow. Wow. 
thing I will say is those pinks are completely different. And I noticed that the other day with the pochette. So when I grab this year's, and I might grab last year's, we'll just have a bit of a look at those pinks. Doesn't worry me in the slightest, because I don't care. Um, might worry some people if they wanted to pair the same items. Don't know, why would they? But, oh my God, how cute, right? How cute. So let me put my card back in this, the, the Louis card. And I will just go and quickly grab a few things to show you, all right? So wait, wait one moment. Wait. Okay guys, I'm back. So what I just did is I thought I'd do a few things first. I would show you um, the passport covers we're currently holding. I mean, these are just, you know, his and hers, nothing special. They're not leather, but I mean, they're nice. Aren't they nice? So I'm sorry, his, his doesn't have a Louis yet. Uh, we'll work on that. In the meantime, I'll show you mine. So I just, you know, got all my, uh, COVID certificates and everything in here. Um, let me, let me push that over there. Um, I'm not going to show you my passport for obvious reasons, but I will show you what the front of an Australian passport looks like. I'm sure you've seen it, but just in case you haven't. That's our coat of arms for Australia. So wanky. Okay, so passport, come on. Oh my God, it's so cute. I mean, I'm going to use this. I'm telling you, I will use this for more than this. Sorry, this. Um, but I just want to see how it fits. And I mean, that's the purpose, right? And I don't know how. Oh, does it go behind there? Is that the idea? And then you just put cards in there, I suppose. And tucked it in behind there. It feels like it's just, oh yeah, no, that's right. Mm, I don't love it like that. Anyway, let's try the other side. Because maybe, oh, okay. All right, I've got it on the wrong side, I think. Somebody knows. <laughs> Do I put it on this side? It fits better down there. Because when I have it on this side, it doesn't go deep enough, so it sits sort of at the top, whereas this one is not sitting at the top, if you know what I mean, like I can put my finger in there. So I'm thinking this is the right side, which is kind of bizarre, because if you put your cards in here, this would be, oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's maybe let me get a credit card um so currently today and yesterday because i was so excited as you know i've got the christmas 2022 uh mini pochette which i am currently using i just put the long um felici chain on it and i've been wearing it as a crossbody and today i went out and i just took it on my wrist um and the reason that i have this here for a few reasons is i am also which is good news using the christmas 2022 card holder and I really am using it it's fantastic I have to say so with that I'm just going to get a credit card out or a card doesn't matter what um I'm going to not show the numbers but I'm going to put it into here just to see it fit it really easily really smoothly which not always do you know you have to always go eh. um let me just try the top one because that's where I would actually it's beautiful I think I could use this as for all other things, a little notepad or just to put my cards in and honestly, I'm in love. I'm in love. I just, I, yes. Yes. Um, okay, let me take that card out. But look, I think that's how it goes. I guess. You know, I could probably even get my husband's on the other side and just have both of her passports in here for when we travel. I don't know. But let me take the passport out slots at one two three it's got four credit card slots there and then it's got this sort of um I don't know, pocket but you could also put another card down in there can you do it this way no you can't do it that way but you could do it this way if you wanted to um you could fit anything in there my dog's gonna bark now um so let me put my card back in my Christmas card holder and let me now talking going back we were talking about the pinks and I was saying that um, the pink is quite different on the pouch to what it is in the passport so I wanted to see if this pink looks like the card holder it doesn't 
But the card holder is Seoul, I think, not France. See how it's completely different? Okay. But let me also show you again the middle of the passport. That's also completely different. Which I'm not mad about. But it is different. Let me have a look at the Christmas 22, so this current year, um, Pechette and the pink that's in that. That is very different. Get my face out of the way. Okay. But having said that, I believe, yes, that, um, yeah, that the pink, sorry, I'm all over the place in this video, the pink inside, which I will give you all the details, the pink inside of um, the passport holder, which I will use for other things, I'm just going to zip up this menu to shit, is the same pink as, yes it is, as the current, I'll get my face out of the way, the current, and I know I've got that so upside down, um, the current, so they're the same. So the, the Mini Pochette Paris, Christmas 2022, and the passport holder, Christmas 2022, it's so soft, are the same pink, which kind of makes sense. Yep. But given that this is also Paris Christmas 2022, it's a different pink. I'm not mad. Okay, so... The next thing I want to show you is just from a from a Christmas point of view. Um, I'm just going to show you last year's again. Christmas 2021, which is oh, I love I love this bichette, this mini bichette. But I equally equally not sure. I love the 2022, 2021, and. 2022, I have the money, which is the holder, coin purse from 2021. And they're beautiful pink. I love that Japanese garden, or is it Japanese garden? Oh, you think I would know. Um, and of course, Christmas 2022. And Christmas 2022. <laughs> this is kind of crazy to me. Um, you know, it's a silly story to tell at this point of the video and I'll step back. I, I grew up poor. And when I say poor, I mean the nuns, because we were Catholic at the time. The nuns would bring us boxes of food and um, we didn't always have money for lunches at school or anything. So I've worked really hard. No one gave me anything. I work very hard to this day. I've had two children, two children with disabilities. They're both adults now, but they don't have capacity so I still, you know, look after them. One more. Um, and my son's terminally ill. So believe me when I say I am grateful. I'm grateful for everything. I don't just take this for granted. I don't have a lot of money. I work hard. I've saved hard. I studied on my own. I went to uni on my own and I've really tried. So I'm, I'm not trying to make excuses. It doesn't matter. But I'm just saying, don't judge me. Don't judge me. But I'm absolutely... And Oh, seriously, I, I just, I don't even have that many bags. I don't know what I'm talking about. But this year I've just splurged a little. And I know I probably shouldn't. Love those mini pushes. Can't wait for Christmas 2023. Um, and I, I look, I love everything. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to get them all in one. Wouldn't it be nice if I actually, let me see. I'll put one on one wrist. I'll put one on the other wrist. And um, I'll get my pencil case that I love so much. And I'll get that and my passport and last year and let's see <laughs> I, I, I'm, I can't, I'm not showing it properly yet. look I'm, I'm trying here people I'll try and get in without my face yes oh, yes and yes step back I'm happy <laughs> can you tell all right guys I will stop being silly so I'm also, I'll just put some of these things down. I also wanted to show you, because I don't think I did on the last video, I can't remember. But, you know, as I said, I do use these all the time. They're not just collectibles. I actually will use all of these items, and if they wear, they wear. That's the point. That's what I'm buying them for. Um, I'll just take some things out of there. So, um, 
usually I have my keys, um, actually this is my spare key, I usually have my keys in my, in, in my, um, uh, little black and white pochette thingy, oh, not pochette, the little card, uh, key holder, the, it, there's on a past video, have a look, I, I, I don't even know where it is right now. I might know where it is right now. Anyway, but because when I use these, and if I'm only using this, and this is not a key ball in a bag or a catch-all in a bag, you know I have the smaller phone. So I pop this phone in. I grab my card holder, whichever one. I pop that in. And then I think I told you before, I pop my keys in. Usually I don't carry the big... This is my spare keys. Um, and I just want to show you that, because I really do honestly functionally use it like this. So there's the keys. And then, nine times out of ten, not always, I have some sort of lipstick. Gosh, this was $4.95. Essence, cool collagen, plumping is the best stuff ever. Um, so I can also fit that in there if I jigsaw puzzle, which I just did. So there you go. Um, and she zips up really nicely, as you see. So this is how I went out today. So I, I'm just going to stand back. I literally today just had it like this on my wrist. Um, I know you can undo that, put it on there and it becomes the ringlet, you know, for your wrist. But today I just was carrying it like this. I also always get some sort of strap, put it to there, put it to there and have it as a crossbody and it becomes like this. And I, yeah, I, I, I love it. I mean, I just think they're so functional and I've got everything. I've got cards, I've got phone, I've got lipstick, I've got my keys and I've even got the big keys in there. So yeah, I do believe these are very functional and that's why even though they've gone up a lot in price, I don't mind buying them because you actually you actually can use them as a bag as well as a key pool, as well as everything and you can just hang them on your wall for prettiness. Um, so look, I know I've talked a lot today and one of the things that I did want to just go back to was this pencil pouch. If anybody's got these, what do you use it for? My whole intention was to buy it to use it honestly for pens for work or for other things so I'm just going to grab a pen found one with a lid <laughs> okay I use this Swarovski pen you know another video go watch that of um, my Swarovski collection I really love Swarovski I like of course lingy things so it's a um lingy pen let me just get out of this sorry that's probably not picking up real well okay anyway so I use this a lot. It's actually really nice to write with. The ink to put in it is really good. The only thing that I, it annoys me is you do have to take the lid off and then I find myself like nearly losing the lid. And if I put it here, it's stretching it. <sighs> anyway, but it does have a lid. So I was thinking, I'm just gonna open this. <laughs> so I dropped set pen. <laughs> and I go, so if I was using, oh my God. So if I was using a pen, you know, it actually could coordinate my hands, that'd be good too. So let's put the pen in the pouch. Pen in the pouch. Oh my god, it's so big. It's so big. Look at that little sucker in there. <laughs> yeah, uh, look, you know what? It's a pencil pouch. I'm gonna use it for that. But if you've got any other ideas, please let me know. I know people will probably say they're great for your makeup brushes if you're traveling. That would make sense as well if they're clean. And I'm a very lazy brush cleaner. Anyway, love it, love it, love it, love it, <laughs> love it. I just, I just don't like the fichetta. I know that's gonna go a dark color and I'm gonna have to just suck it up. Suck it up, but how beautiful. I feel very, 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 very lucky. Um, guys, I am going to stop talking so much and I'm going to finish this video. If I have forgotten to tell you anything or show you anything about um, any of these items, love. Um, oh, oh. Let me get the 22 because you've seen the 21. Let me get the 22. I have to say I love this more than I even believed I would because I just love notebooks. I love anything like that it's yeah so um where oh it's in my and of course you know I have the card holder let me get it out we're going to look at everything well you know you know I've gone banged on long enough for now now you know what Aussies when they say banging on about something it's talking a lot so let's do this again shall we let's try let's try to get 
my big fat fingers around it. So we've got the beautiful, beautiful. I can't get my pencil, can I? All right, guys, I'm going to stop. I'm being crazy, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry. I know it's crazy. The lights were crazy. I was crazy. Trying to hold the pieces were crazy. But I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I know I didn't give you all the details. I will leave them all in the description, so please look for that. But otherwise, honestly, I'll give you all the codes. Go onto the Louis Vuitton website and you'll be able to see them all. Well, you can in Australia anyway. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to finish up and I'm going to film the other video in a moment because that's something really different. And again, please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Um, particularly, let me know what you think. What did you get? What are you doing with yours? Did anybody get this pencil pouch and... What are you doing with it? How do you use it? Are you just collecting it? I don't want to just collect it. I want to use it. Um, I love it. Let me know. Okay, guys. Oh, shut up.